A day before the 43rd anniversary of the May 18 Gwangju democratization movement, South Korean politicians are headed to the city of Gwangju to pay tribute to those who perished during the movement. Our issue tells us more about the significance of this day in Korea. This Thursday marks the 43rd anniversary of the May 18th Gwangju democratization movement. The pro-democracy movement began in the southwestern city of Gwangju on May 18, 1980, in response to a military coup d'etat by General Chan Tuan, who would rule South Korea as a dictator for most of the decade. Chan had extended martial law to the whole nation, closing universities and curtailing the press, prompting Gwangju citizens, including some Jeonnam National University students, to demonstrate against this oppression. In response, Chan deployed special military forces to put down this movement using brutal force, killing hundreds and injuring countless others over a period of 10 days. But the resistance by ordinary citizens made Gwangju South Korea's symbolic center for civil action. And now May 18th is widely remembered as the day that gave birth to democracy in a struggling nation. And President Yoon suk yeol for the first time for a conservative president, last year led his aides, his cabinet and the entire ruling conservative party to Gwangju to pay tribute to those who perished during the resistance. Also a first for a conservative leader, President Yoon sang out loud, Marching for Our Beloved, a song dedicated to the victims. Mr. Yoon referred to the May 18th spirit as a living part of history that should be passed down for generations and spread throughout the world. Following the president's unprecedented move, this year many lawmakers from ruling in opposition blocs are again headed to Gwangju. Some 90 out of 115 lawmakers with the People Power Party are reportedly planning to take a train there together. Young PPP lawmakers born in or after 1980 and former party leader Lee jun Sok are attending the Eve commemoration ceremony on Wednesday, along with some members of the main opposition Democratic Party and Justice Party. The DP reportedly encouraged all its members to attend ceremonies on Wednesday and Thursday. DP party leader Lee Jae-myung and floor leader Park kwang un will be staying in Gwangju for two days. Meanwhile, former President Moon Jae-in on Wednesday paid his respects at the May 18th National Cemetery in Gwangju, a first since his return to private life last year. Moon told reporters the democracy we enjoy today is due to the sacrifices made during the movement. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.